so till now we are using laravel data table by yajra box but we have not used the structured way of using this so from now we are going to use the html builder to build all of the data table so we are not going to touch anything on our blade file all these things everything almost we are going to use on our laravel end so if you have remembered while starting this course i have installed this version that means using the data table or yajra data table with all of its, its plugin this means if i now go and check on the vendor folder just at the bottom yajra yes you can see all of the plugins are there so this means we can easily use html builder so i'm not going to follow the actual uh, documentation because it is much easier if you can use it my way okay so if i now go to the terminal and if i type php artisan but wait i have alias pa so now we have after installing these packages we have two new command data tables make data table scope so let's just see the data table make so pa data table make and getting the help we can define the model also so this means if i say that means i want to make a data table for user and associate with the model also so if i hit enter it is created but where okay so if you go to app folder then you can find a new directory called data tables inside that it is now having the data table at the end with the word we have given so user we have given now it's completed to user data table a user data table is just a class which extending this data table class and now the mo the important function in this uh, class is this one html what this is going to do this is going to build our html that means the html for our data table then we can define the columns what are the columns we are going to use in our data table so because we are on level and it's just a simple php class we can create another function so get columns is a function which is just going to return an array of other columns so you can see it says id created at updated at and you can add your own column list also so why not give name and email also because we know this is for user table so we can use it so it is good but where it is saying that it is going to use the user model so yeah it is used here but here if you see on the query part query function it's using user as a model and then it is saying select these things it's just a simple uh, just like sql query select these these thing from user table like that so let's uh, give these two things also so we are going to use uh, we are going to select name and email also so this thing are uh, good email html and columns inside the html we have a new function or a function simply which is called minified ajax what this will do actually whenever you uh, fetch data whenever data table fetch data because we we know we have 11000 users on our database but we are going to fetch 10 by 10 so each time it just created a url for the ajax it just minified the url it just for sake of having a good url length like that so simple yeah width is 80 pixel any action button is having a width of 80 pixel then some parameters so parameters we will see later so le let's just now use it how we can actually use we have created the class but how we can use it so if i go to web.php you can see we have this welcome function so what i'm going to do instead of using returning this welcome i'm going to first use that class so use uh, user data table and call it as a data table and now i'm going to return and i will say this data table is going to render rendering a blade file or view so let's say i'm going to use a index 
simple enough okay so we need to create this index because in our resources we don't have any uh, index.blade.php so first i'm going to create app.blade.php and it's just going to create html and because we are going to use the data table we need data table related things so let's go to tutorial quick start and here we have these things so it's just get the css so link of css which is done then comes js of it's js it's actually jquery so jquery then comes data table js so a script and yeah simple so how we can add so do we need to use this data or uh, this table html tag no we are on uh, yajra box and html builder so let's just use a container for now and a row for now or if you don't want to use this is this is no problem so because we are saying that data table render index we can have we can use actually this uh, variable in our app.blade.php so what i'm going to do i'm going to simply say data table then html okay so how i get that if you go to html builder after installation you can see we have a builder and at the bottom you can see we have a uh, html not html it's a table okay so not html it's a table okay so this is for the table and one more for script okay so what I'm going to do actually, I'm going to cut this from here and I'm going to say uh, section, which is a blade section, section content and let's just show this section. Okay, so yeah, we have created app, now create index.blade.php and this time I'm just going to copy this and paste it and remember to use uh, a stack here which is going to have a, a script in it uh, so that we can have this one this push part scripts actually scripts and this is contents so plural okay so we are not going to use HTML it's a data table so let's go and now if i refresh boom yeah, you can see just doing these two things on our blade file it's so clean we are getting the data table and it's fully functioning data table very nice we don't have to do anything so that's the power of using our uh, uh, data table html builder so in the next episode we are going to tweak something we are going to we are going to see or uh, we are going to see other uh, related things like parameter and adding checkboxes these things then we will go on the buttons and the most important everyone is asking for the editor part so one thing i can tell you is that the editor is not free but you can get a trial version to have it it's not much it's just a hundred dollar for license uh, forever you get if you are having a good website spend this money that will uh, reduce your work so so much and that is so clean we will see these things in the later episode so subscribe for this channel and if you like this share this with you videos with your friends like between on facebook twitter and instagram we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye